Charity is working to transform a vacant building into a multi-service shelter to cater to the growing need there. It will be the first of its kind in the county. The now Jennifer Aud joins us from the Tech Center today. And Jennifer, you visited the site, which is still under construction. Yes, Danita, Rob, a lot of work still underway. The director of the current shelter says it gets overcrowded, especially during the winter. And they say many who come in have underlying issues, whether it's drug abuse, being victims of domestic violence, or being developmentally disabled. Now, this new center is supposed to help streamline the process for them, offering more than just the basics. This empty building is set to become the new St. Elizabeth Center. Director Melissa Sirak with Catholic Charities saying the three-story building will house a diverse population. The need in Lorraine is great. You have um, the underemployed, the unemployed, the working poor. Construction workers have already begun renovating the former Polish American Citizens Club building. So what makes this new center different from what is already available? The program administrator at the St. Joseph Overnight Shelter says each person who comes through their doors will have a case manager. That case worker will sit down with an individual, do an intake process, identify um, any of the issues and barriers that are going on. Um, and then continue to work on them with a goal plan. The 14,000 square foot three-story building will house 50 beds for men only, have a kitchen, pantry, office, and meeting rooms. Be able to um, receive food, safe haven for overnight shelter, and not have to go anywhere else. Offering more than just meals and a roof over their heads, the new multi-purpose shelter will focus on holistic needs, emotional, mental, spiritual, and educational help. The goal? to get more people in need the proper tools and skill sets so they can stand on their own two feet again. Now this project is expected to cost $1.5 million. Leaders of Catholic Charities calling it a one-stop shop for those in need and they hope to open it by August. In the Tech Center, I'm Jennifer Ah, reporting for The Now Cleveland.